You found me. That's Frey, the Frey, I should say. Dan Radio Style. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day. Uh, I wanted to do a quick show. Uh, yeah, it's late Sunday night. It's been a crazy weekend, so I uh, sorry for, you know, maybe cutting this a little shorter than it normally would be. But I wanted to give us a good way to start the week off, a great little awesome tip to help kind of speed up our manifestation process. A lot of us are looking for tips, tricks, and everything under the sun. To how can we make this faster? How can I try to speed things up? Now, obviously, if your intention truly is to try to speed things up, that's kind of a strike against you. But really, if you're looking for some good, positive practices that are going to get your energy in the right arena, to get your energy vibrating in the right uh, frequency, basically, so you're attracting what it is that you're trying to manifest, well, then I think I might possibly have the thing for you. It's not quite a bridge to buy, right? If you have a bridge to sell you, that's the whole standard adage here. If you got a crazy idea, it's like snake oil or whatever, right? But what we're talking about is trying to feel gratitude in our lives a little more often. Now, I kind of recommend it on a daily basis. Maybe while you're doing your morning meditation is a really good time to try to feel gratitude. Now, how do you do that, though? Like, right, right? How do you, how do you get to a place where you can feel gratitude? Couple ways, right? So let's keep it on the easy side. Maybe, uh, yeah, we'll start with the, yeah, the easy one, I guess. Like, if you've got, like, a specific someone or someone you truly love with all your heart, just thinking about them in the morning while you're doing your meditation, like I do in the shower, wherever you do yours, just think about them for a few minutes, you know, think about how much you care about them, how much that feeling of love inside of you resonates, and then start to say, thank you for being in my life. I am so grateful for having you in my life. And just kind of repeating phrases along the lines of being thankful and grateful, right? For having this energy in your life, this person in your life, for having maybe your children in your life, right? Whatever it is, be grateful and thankful and just say that a few times. Just say it a few times and start to connect with that energy, that emotion. And, and in most cases, and I would, I would be surprised if it not all, but in most cases, you're going to feel this kind of growth, this of warmth almost from the inside, from your chest area. You're going to feel this tingling maybe in the spine, this, this goosebumps possible feeling. You're going to start to connect to this heart area, the heart chakra, they call it. And when you're feeling the gratitude, when you're coming from thanks from that area and you start your day off in that level of energy and that sort of feeling and that feeling space, even as they might say, the power you have in your manifestations, the power you have when you're trying to imagine your specific person. So maybe even before doing some imaginal work, spend a few minutes doing this meditation, getting in touch with this feeling area in your heart and this heart chakra. And you will find that you have significantly better results. The feelings you have while you are trying to manifest is significantly better. And again, we've talked about it before. What you say and think and all that is super important because it's definitely your asking. So that concept matters a great deal. But what we attract towards us is the energy that we are vibrating at, the energy that we are feeling. The way we are feeling on the inside when it comes to just dealing with life in general, the way we feel moment to moment. So when we can start the day off in a good feeling place, when we can start the day off with a good solid feeling that gets us to that happy place. And I want one other thing to kind of, as a caveat to this, one thing that's really cool about this process is one, it gives you that go-to thought. So when later in the day, if you're having issues or you're having second guesses or you're questioning what's going on. You have this meditation thought that you used in the morning to get you to that gratifying, that great, that grateful spot, that being that that gratitude spot. So now you have like a go-to thought that can get you to this location where you feel grateful for for everything you have in your life. And whatever the case is, maybe it isn't your specific someone. Maybe that's too hard to think about. So you're grateful like I said for maybe your children, Maybe you're grateful for your, your family, for your friends, for your best friend. Whatever it is that you can basically truly say, universe, thank you. I am grateful for what you have given me and provided me in life. Then you are coming from that heart place. And what they talk about when it comes to manifesting is the heart place. When you're coming from that feeling place, when you're manifesting from the heart. Yeah, you're using your brain to imagine and all that, but your heart is feeling it too. When you come from that location, 
they say, and they're st- you know, it's hard to quantify, but they're saying it's thousands of times stronger. Whatever the case is, it's significantly stronger to come from the place of feeling while you're doing this manifestation work and being grateful for all the things that either A, you know are coming, if you can't quite cover that, B, be grateful for all the things you do have because you know that already. And again, it's all about that energy. It's all about getting yourself in that place where you're manifesting at a frequency that is attracting what it is that you're seeking. So the heart is a thousands of times stronger. So trying to come from that place is going to make an enormous difference in your manifesting ability. And putting this into your daily routine is going to add that extra oomph to your day to give you strength just to get through the day, to start your day off on a great foot, a great, positive, uplifting foot. And on top of that, kind of gives you that go-to thought that you might need from time to time, maybe when the doubts creep in. You might need something positive that you can throw out there and go, ah, but I'm grateful for this, this, and this. And instantly getting you thinking and feeling back to that great spot again. Hopefully this helps out for you guys. Going to be going out with a great song by Adele. This song is called Someone Like You. It's Dan Radio Style. Never mind.